Hello and welcome to the eighth devotion on the um, in the Advent season for 2023. Whenever you're watching this, I hope that it is meaningful to you and that you recognize what it means that God came to us, that he arrived to us, that he came and met us in our need. So let me pray, and then we're going to review some of what we've already covered and go forward in Joseph's obedience to the revelation that he has received. So Father, as we um, look for, long for, desire your coming into our lives today, we do pray that you would make us sensitive to your word. We pray, Father, that you would help us to realize that when you come to us, when you meet us, when you speak to us, when you make yourself known to us, our response is one of obedience, even as Joseph's was. Help us to be like Joseph in this way. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to back up to Matthew 1, 18 and just read this entire um, passage one more time as we come to the culmination of it. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins." All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. So as, as we approach this, this is really rather remarkable. Um, I am in awe of Joseph. I think he is an amazing man. He is declared as being a righteous man, uh, uh, someone who cares about doing the will of God and being obedient to God. He, he cares about that a lot. And so because of that, he was going to divorce his uh, betrothed, Mary, because he knew she was pregnant and he knew he was not the father. And so he was going to be a righteous man, a faithful man. He was going to divorce her, but he was going to do it privately so that she wouldn't be exposed to public disgrace. And um, he was you know, going to go about his business. But righteousness, um, faithfulness for Joseph, for Joseph is larger than simply obeying the law as it is written down. He, ha he now has an encounter with the living God. He considers this. An angel of the Lord appears to him in a dream and says, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Do not be afraid to bring Mary under your protection, bring her into your home under your pr protection, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She's going to give birth to a son, but you are to give him the name Jesus. I didn't talk about this last time, but uh, giving the name Jesus means Joseph is basically owning uh, responsibility for Jesus. He's owning the, the paternal role in giving the name to Jesus. Um, because he will save his people from their sins. We talked about that before. So, And then we have this interlude. So we have the dream. We have, we have 
Joseph deciding that he's going to divorce her and uh, do it quietly. We have the dream in which he's told, no, it's okay. Go ahead and take this responsibility on and even own responsibility for this child that Mary is going to give birth to. And you will be the father figure for him. Um, we have that, and then we have the interlude. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. This is a theme that is consistent throughout Matthew. Matthew, remember, is writing to convince Jews that Jesus is their Messiah. And so he alludes to the Hebrew Bible a lot. He quotes the Hebrew Bible a lot, and he specifically mentions fulfillment of Hebrew prophecy. And so the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which is from Isaiah 7, 14. It does mean God with us. Um, the virgin will conceive in the Hebrew. The virgin could just be a young woman, but in the Greek, uh, this is a virgin, someone who has not had sexual relations. This verse 24, though, is just absolutely astounding to me, and I, it just makes me really appreciate Joseph and his righteousness and his faithfulness. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took Mary home as his wife. He became the, her protector provider. He didn't consummate their marriage, probably wanting to make sure there were no complications, wanting to make sure that this child would, without any doubt, not be his, but would be the gift of God from the Spirit of God. And then she, until she gives birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. He fulfills his role completely. He is obedient. When God comes to us, when his word comes to us, when his will comes to us, when his presence comes to us, our response is one of submission and obedience. We bow before him, we honor him, and we do what he says. Joseph does this. He is a great model for us in this Advent season. And so today, I would just encourage you, as you go looking, longing, waiting for the Messiah to break into your life, um, whether for the first time or for the thousandth time, just remember to be obedient to what you know. Submit to what you know. That opens the floodgate for God's presence to work in you and through you. So, Father God, I, I pray that you would help us to be obedient to you. Help us to be faithful and righteous as Joseph was. Help us to realize that faithfulness and righteousness to you means following your will, even when it may cause questions or concerns, and it may open us up to ridicule. Father God, help us, like Joseph, to embrace your plan and to be obedient to your will, regardless of what it costs us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. As you go about your day, as you are waiting for the advent of the Messiah, may you walk in obedience to what you already know. God bless you.